Hi, I'm Shohini from Bob Miller Middle School. Support for Junior Varsity Quiz on Vegas PBS is provided by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Hello and welcome to the Clark County School District Junior Varsity Quiz Championship Match. I'm your host, Nathan Tannenbaum. Junior Varsity Quiz is a knowledge-based quiz bowl competition for middle school and junior high school students. The best and the brightest of Clark County's middle school students are matching wits today for the title Junior Varsity Quiz Champion. Now, there were 36 middle school and junior high school teams that competed in a one-day tournament where these two teams competed in four separate JVQ matches, earning them this appearance at Vegas PBS. Now, we're going to get to know more about our players later in the show, but for now, let's go ahead and meet our starters. From Miller Middle School, let's say hello to Antonio. Hi, Antonio. Nice to see you. There's Frank. Hi, Frank. Also from Miller, Miller Middle School, Shohini. Hi, Shohini. And finally, there's Emma. That's our team from Miller Middle School. Great job, you guys. <laughs> our other team in the competition is Becker Middle School. And starting for Becker, there's Cole. Hi, Cole. And Elijah. And Tiago. And Connor. Becker Middle School. <laughs> so students, one more reminder that when you buzz in and you're called on, we have to be able to hear you. The microphones will certainly hear you, but our judges and I have to be able to hear you. If you're giving a correct answer and we can't hear it, we might call it an incorrect answer. Everybody ready? Let's play Junior Varsity Quiz. The legislative bodies of such countries as Botswana, Angola, Ecuador, and Guyana are each called a national assembly. Now these are examples of what kind of legislatures consisting of a single body? Becker, Tiago. Unicameral? Yes. Next question. According to Hawaiian folklore, what is supposed to occur when the goddess Pele is angry? Becker, Cole. A volcano erupts? No. That is correct? That was correct. Okay, we'll move on. That was correct. Next question. As of 2018, Geraldine Ferrero and Sarah Palin had been the only two women nominated by a major political party for what elective? And that's Miller, Emma? Presidential candidate. Incorrect. Becker, Connor? Speaker of the House. Incorrect. The answer, Vice President of the United States. So no correct answer. We move on. He left the west coast of Florida in 1539. His search for gold took him through lands that became Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Name this conquistador who was buried somewhere on the banks of the Mississippi. Miller, Frank. Ponce de Leon. Incorrect. In uh, the banks of the Mississippi in 1542. Uh, Becker, Tiago. Hernan Cortez. No, it's Hernando de Soto. No correct answer. We move on. Depending on its type, a triangle may have no line of symmetry, one line of symmetry, or how many? Miller, Frank. Three. Yes. Next question. Name the series of books that includes the following titles. By the Shores of Silver Lake and Miller, Emma. The Laura Ingalls Wilder series. Judges, I don't think we can accept that. And I'll finish reading the question. And The Long Winter. It was the Little House on the Prairie series. No correct answer. We move on. In 1789, George Washington issued a proclamation designating November 26 as a National Day of Thanksgiving to recognize the role of Providence in creating what American document? Becker, Tiago. The Declaration of Independence. Incorrect. Miller, Shohini. The Constitution. Yes. Next question. Around 1200 BC, what seafaring people controlled a strip of land? Becker, Elijah. The Vikings. Incorrect. Uh, along the eastern Mediterranean in northern Canaan. Miller, Antonio. Greeks. Incorrect. It was the Phoenicians. And you have to speak up when we call on you, Antonio. Next question. What colonial bestseller? Published annually for 26 years, did Benjamin Franklin write under the pseudonym Richard Saunders? Becker, Elijah. The Boston Bugle. Incorrect. 
Did they buzz in in time? No? Okay, we're looking for Poor Richard's Almanac. Next question. What is the term for a soft, wet, lowland that's periodically... Miller, Frank? Swamp. No, periodically inundated, usually waterlogged, and characterized by grassy vegetation, sedges, and cattails. Becker, Cole? A swamp. That's incorrect. We were looking for a marsh, a moor, a fen, or a wetland. Next question is a calculation question. What is x if x plus 2y equals 24 and y equals 4? Miller, Frank. 16. Yes. Next question. The Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, designated by President Clinton, and the Bears Ears National Monument, established by President Obama, are both in what U.S.? Miller, Shohini. Utah. Yes. The Indonesian Bidug, the Korean Janggu, and the Sen Senegalese Sabar belong to what category of musical instruments that also includes the Cuban... Becker, Elijah. Brass. Incorrect. The Cuban conga. Miller, Shohini. Percussion. Yes. For a brief period, what spectacular explosive phenomenon may outshine Becker, Cole? The Big Bang. Incorrect. An entire galaxy of billions of stars. Miller, Frank. A supernova. Yes. In international law, what adjective preceding seas indicates the continuous body of salt water that lies outside of any country's territorial waters. Becker, Tiago. International waters. Incorrect. Miller, Frank. Open. Yes, or high we would have accepted. Next question, what leader of the Georgia colony planned out the city of Savannah, including its streets, public squares, and housing for new settlers? Miller, Antonio. Duke William. Pardon me? William. Incorrect. No, we're looking for James Oglethorpe. Next question. Wherever you see pillow lava, you know that the eruption that produced it occurred where? Becker, Connor. Underground. He said underground. I believe that's incorrect. Miller, Frank. Underwater. Yes. Next question. Like the creature from Greek mythology, what beast in Harry Potter stories has the head of a lion, the body, uh, Miller, Shohini? A sphinx? No, the body of a goat and the tail of a dragon. Becker, Elijah? A manticore? No, we're looking for a chimera. Next question. Helen Keller's life was enormously improved when she mastered a communication system developed by the French musician, educator, and in... Miller, Shohini? Braille? Yes. In the Middle Ages, boys spent seven years as a page, another seven years as a squire, before they could become... Becker, Elijah? A scribe? Incorrect. Miller, Antonio? A knight? Yes. Bigger than the bald eagle, what eagle is the largest bird of prey in North America? Miller, Antonio? Peregrine falcon. Incorrect. Becker, Connor? Golden eagle? Yes. Christopher Paolini became a best-selling author at the age of 19 with the publication of what novel about a boy who raises a dragon named Saphira? Miller, Emma? Endergon? No, that's incorrect. Becker, Connor? Pete's dragon? No, the answer, Aragon. Next question. What founding father was a drafter of the Constitution, recorder of the Constitutional Convention, and author of the Federalist Papers, and Becker, Tiago? Thomas Jefferson? Incorrect. Miller, Antonio? Alexander Hamilton? No, if you'd let me finish the question, you might have got it. I was asking also for the fourth president of the United States, James Madison. So no correct answer. And we move on. What folk song begins with these first two prepositional phrases? In a cavern, in a canyon. Miller, Shohini? Oh, Susanna. No. Oh, my darling, Clementine. Next question is a calculation question. Multiply three and three quarters by one-sixth. Repeating, 
Miller, Frank? Five eighths. That is correct. So that is the end of our first round, and the bonus round is next on Junior Varsity Quiz. After our first round, here's the score. Miller has 55 points to Becker's 15. Before we start our second round, we do have one new player for Miller. We want to say hello to eighth grader Lev. How's it going, Lev? It's going pretty good. Well, let's go ahead and do our second round, which is the bonus round. In 1912, the U.S. Senate formed a committee to investigate the sinking of what British... Miller, Antonio? Listonasia? Listonasia? Couldn't even hear you, but I'm going to count that as an incorrect answer anyway. And let me finish the question. What British ocean liner on which some 1,500 people had lost their lives following its collision with an iceberg? Becker, Tiago. The Titanic. Yes. Now we have bonus questions for Becker only. Answer the following associated with ships. First, give the name of the British luxury cruise ship that was used during World War II to move Allied troops across the Atlantic, was known as the Grey Ghost. And second, what captain who departed England in 1610 was not aboard his ship, the Discovery, when it returned in 1611? All right. And then, for the, what's the first? Wait, what, what do you think it is? Um, Drake. Drake. Oh. Captain? All right, our first answer is uh, the, Lu the Louisiana. No, oh, that, oh well. And our second answer is John Smith. Both are incorrect. I think you're trying to say Lusitania, yes. but it was the Queen Mary, and the other one was Henry Hudson. So no bonus points. And we move on to this question for both teams. Please, students, speak up, or we will count your answers incorrect. Derived from Italian words meaning in the manner of a chapel, what vocal musical term means without instrumental accompaniment? Miller, Lev? A cappella. Yes, bonus questions now for Miller only. Answer the following associated with music. First, in an opera, how many performers are involved in singing an aria? And second, give the term for the five lines and four spaces that are the foundation on which notes are drawn. First answer one, second answer staff. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now this question for both teams. A thousand years before the invention of the printing press by Johannes Gutenberg, people in what country were, were using Becker, Elijah? China. Yes, bonus questions now for Becker only. Answer the following associated with economics. First, what's the term for the... Oh, no, no. oh nope, I'm on the wrong page. Yep, bonus questions. Answer the following associated with the printing press. First, what kind of type was the innovation of the Gutenberg printing press? Second, name the first major work produced by the Gutenberg printing press. Uh, the, the Gutenberg Gu Bible. Lead. lead? Yes, lead. All right. Uh, our first answer is lead, and our second answer is the Gutenberg Bible. Uh, the first is incorrect. We're looking for movable, and will we accept that? The second one is correct, so you got some bonus points. Now, this question for both teams is a calculation question. A veterinarian treated four-thirds as many dogs as cats. If she had 84 patients in all, how many of them were cats? Repeating, Miller, Frank? 36. Yes, bonus questions now for Miller only. Answer the following calculation questions. First, if the sum of two numbers is 18 and the ratio of those numbers is 5 to 1, what is the larger number? Second, what is, the, what is six to the fourth power? Repeating, yeah. if the sum of two numbers is 18, nice. the ratio of the numbers is five to one, what's the larger number? And second, what is six to the fourth power? First answer, 15. Second answer, 1,296. Both are correct. You got bonus points. This question for both teams now. Name the literary character created by Edgar Rice Burroughs, who lost both his parents at an early age, was raised by a species of primates. <laughs> Miller, Shohini. No answer. A species of primates supposedly unknown to science. <laughs> Becker, Tiago. Tarzan. Yes. Bonus questions now for Becker only. Answer the following associated with literary characters. First, what character created by Hugh Lofting is a veterinarian? Second, name the William Defoe character who is shipwrecked on a deserted island and must learn to survive. What's the guy from Castaway? Doolittle. Okay. Doolittle, the first one? Doctor Doolittle. It 
What's what's the guy from Castaway? Captain. Uh, our first one is Dr. Doolittle, and our second one is Wilson. Uh, the first is correct. The second one is Robinson Crusoe, so some bonus points. This question for both teams. In business, what's the opposite of a company that's in the red? Miller, Shohini. In the green. Incorrect. Becker, Connor. In the blue. Incorrect. The answer in the black. We move on. What European country was uh, that was split in 1949 was finally reunited? 40... Miller, Lev? Germany. Yes. Bonus questions now for Miller only. I answer the following associated with countries. First, the Falkland Islands lie closest to what mainland country? Second, name the country where a sculpture of the Little Mermaid from Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale sits on a rock in a harbor. It's Denmark, right? Yes, Denmark. Okay. First answer, Argentina. Second answer, Denmark. Both are correct. You got bonus points. Both teams, this question, through what kind of veto may a president indirectly express disapproval of a bill brought to him for signature, thereby cause it not to be enacted? Becker, Connor. Executive order. Incorrect. Miller, Shohini. Direct veto. No, it's a pocket veto. So we move on. What's the title of Charles Lindbergh's autobiography, given that it's the same as the name of the aircraft he flew across the Atlantic? Becker, Connor. No answer. Miller, Frank. The Spirit of St. Louis. That is correct. Now these bonus questions for Miller only. Answer the following associated with autobiographies. First, name the South African whose autobiography is entitled Long Walk to Freedom. Second, name the person whose autobiography is entitled I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Okay. First answer, Nelson Mandela. Second answer, Maya Angelou. Both are correct. You've got bonus points, and we're out of time. You know our junior varsity quiz coaches, boy, they work with these students week after week, putting in a lot of time and effort, making junior varsity quiz a success. Let's go ahead and meet the coaches of our championship teams. For Miller Middle School, we have Sherry Chase and Rich McConnell. For Becker Middle School, the coach is Nicole Poling. We also have judges with us from the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas and the Clark County School District. The Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas and teachers from around the district also provide judges and moderators for the JVQ tournament. The speed round is next on Junior Varsity Quiz. After two rounds, here's the score. Miller with 115 points to Becker's 40. We've said it before and we mean it. Just because there's that kind of a differential, anything can happen in our third round. Before we begin that speed round, we have some new players we'd like to introduce to you. For, our middle, or for Miller Middle School, we say hello to 7th grader Mason. Hi, Mason. Glad to have you here. There's 8th grader Jaden. Howdy, Jaden. And 8th grader Amy. Hi, Amy. There's also a couple of new players for Becker. We say hello to 8th grader Hannah. Hi, Hi. Hannah. 8th uh, grader Genevieve. Howdy. And 8th grader Matthew. All right. We have a full six minutes, and our speed round begins now. The Viking warrior princess Freydis Eric's daughter was Leif Erikson's half-sister and whose daughter? Becker, Tiago. Um, Eric the Red? Yes, don't lean into the microphone, that's correct. Soldiers from what country ignited more than 700 oil well fires in Kuwait in 1991? Becker, Tiago. Iraq. Yes. From their names, you can surmise the following steps are in what kind of dance? Ami poe poe, lele uehe, emua. Uh, Becker, Hannah. Hula dance. Yes, you gotta speak up, Hannah. Beaufort force is a measure of the speed or strength of what phenomenon? Miller, Shohini. Wind. Yes. Calculation question not repeated in this round. What is the surface area of a cube that is three feet on a side? Miller, Mason. 54 feet squared. Yes. The name of what constellation means dragon? No answer. It is Draco. What ancient route between China and Eastern Europe Miller, Shohini. Silk Road. Yes. In the study of populations, what is the opposite of the natality rate? Becker, Tiago. Demographic trans transaction. Incorrect. Miller, Shohini. The vitality rate. No, the mortality rate. Microbes that eat other things are heterotrophic, while microbes that can make food for themselves 
Miller, Shohini? Autotrophic? Yes. Give the term for the lens at the viewing end of a telescope or microscope. No answer, eyepiece or eyeglass. The nonfiction book Chasing Lincoln's Killer is about the pursuit and capture of whom? Miller, Shohini. John Wilkes Booth? Yes. What are obviously missing from the famous ancient statue Venus de Milo? Becker, Genevieve? Arms? Yes. All animals other than fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals fit into what broad zoological category? Becker, Tiago? Land animals? Incorrect. No answer. We're looking for invertebrates. Of all the Canadian territories and provinces, which is geographically largest? Becker, Tiago. None of it? Yes. The movement of what subatomic particles allows you to see lightning or sparks from a Van de Graaff? Becker, Tiago. Electrons? Yes. What British queen died in 1901? Becker, Tiago. Queen Victoria. Yes. What taxonomic level that forms part of a class is further subdivided into families? Miller, Shohini. Species. Incorrect. Becker, Tiago. Genus. No, we were looking for order. What were colonial craftsmen called who prepared and converted raw animal hides into leather? Becker, Tiago. Tanners. Yes. Usually covered with white plumage and flecks of black, what kind of owl is native to Arctic regions? Miller, Shohini. Snowy owl. Yes. What propulsive force is generated by a propeller or jet engine? Becker, Tiago. A uh, sonic boom? No. No answer. The answer is thrust. Studies have shown that nocturnal coughing can be significantly reduced by a spoonful of what substance produced by certain winged, hairy-bodied... Becker, Tiago? Bees? No, certain winged, hairy-bodied, stinging insects. Miller, Shohini? Honey? Yes. In what colonial city was Crispus Attucks killed by British soldiers? Miller, Shohini? Jamestown? Incorrect. Becker, Tiago. Boston. Yes. What word beginning with a silent K means to squeeze, roll, fold, and press with the hands? Becker, Genevieve. Need. Yes. Plumology or plumage science is the study of what? Miller, Shohini. Feathers. Yes. Name the witch of Narnia who prevents Christmas from coming. Miller, Shohini. The White Witch? Yes. What art forms illustrated by the arrangement of pieces from a couple of dozen photographs on a single... Becker, Genevieve. Collage? Yes. In what state would you find Pocahontas State Park and Paul Hayton State Park? Uh, Becker, Tiago. Virginia? Yes. With the exception of Earth, all of the other planets are named for gods of what ancient... Miller, Shohini. Roman? Yes. If someone knowingly raises false alarms, he's said to be crying... Becker, Genevieve. Wolf? Yes. What's the common term for any apparently shell-less terrestrial gastropod mollusk? Miller, Shohini. No answer. Becker, Tiago. Slug. Yes. We're out of time. Let's find out who won. The final score of the Junior Varsity Quiz Championship match, Miller with 165 points to Becker's 110. How about a hand for Miller Middle School? But we also want to say thank you to both teams. It really was an excellent match. Once again, congratulations to the new JVQ Quiz Champions. Yes, we're talking about Miller Middle School. But before we go, we want to present a couple of plaques. And to do that, we have the president of the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas, John Case. Take it away, John. Yes, on behalf of the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas, I'd like to present this plaque as a semifinalist winner for the Silver League year 2017-18. All right, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Elijah. Thank you, sir. And you have another one. I do. Go ahead. Okay, on behalf of the Qantas Club of Las Vegas, I'd like to present this plaque to the champions, Miller uh, Middle School. Yay, and here you go. there's Shohini. Congratulations. Great job. 
All right. Well, we are grateful to all the folks that make Junior Varsity Quiz the success that it is. That includes the coaches, all of the teachers of these students, the students themselves, and their parents and all the volunteers. A special thanks to everyone who assists in the administration of Junior Varsity Quiz, also to the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas and to Vegas PBS. We hope to see you next year for the Junior Varsity Quiz Championship, but don't forget next week we have the Junior Varsity Quiz All-Star Match right here on Vegas PBS. Good night.